Hey guys, how's it going? This is a pretty cute little coach, but it actually has a stain on it that I don't think I'm going to be able to get out. I'm not exactly sure. Love the little hot pink trim on it though. It's really cute. Love that one. That's still here. Here is a fake Louis Vuitton for 40 bucks. And let's come on over here and see what we've got. This is a pretty brown bag here. It's actually a Francisco Biasia 1977 bag. It's a vintage one. It's very pretty, pretty though. It's got a really cool little clasp lock on it. So I'm not going to be buying that one though because it's $50. This is a good deal. I might pick this up. This is a vintage Rioni um, baguette. And it's in gorgeous condition. It's got beautiful patent trim. These are very, very expensive bags. So I might pick that one up. Not sure yet. Here is a Gianni Bernini. And this one is a, looks like it might be another, oh, my mask is falling off, hold on. There we go, let's see. This one would be a, another Franco Biasia for $50. This poor Dooney, look at the dust on it. It's been here forever, you guys. 30 bucks. Cotton leather Dooney. Um, this is a Bimakowski. What's the shape of this, anyways? I never really paid that much of attention to it. Here is a little lime green fake Prada. This coach has been here for a while now. It doesn't have a long strap with it. Steve Madden, I don't know why they've got that locked up there. No idea. Here's a really cute Betsy Johnson. And uh, I'm not exactly sure the condition. Let's see the straps on it. Oh, there's the straps, chain straps on the back. Does anybody want that one? I don't know. I may, I may not. And then, well, there's a little Betsy here. That's cute. Missing the crossbody strap though. Here's little Betsy Johnson backpack, which is really cute, but not a lot of people are buying Beth or backpacks anymore. Betsy Johnson, yes, but backpacks not so much. So that's going to stay here for sure. This is leather. Pretty cool looking. But I'm wondering if the style will sell for me. And I don't even see a name on it. So that's a bummer. Not Bessie Johnson. Something Vera. <clears throat> okay, you guys, let's show you what we hauled today for resale. Everything is going to be listed below for sale if you're interested. Um, it was a small shopping trip today, but I did find a couple really cute things. So I'm going to take them home, clean them up, and ship them out when you purchase them. All right, let's show you the first bag that I've been having lots and lots of interest in, and that is the Bagalini bag. They are super great for travel, super great for organization. Um, it's red nylon with silver hardware. It's got the adjustable crossbody on it, and it's in excellent condition. It's got the zipper pocket on the flap. It has a magnetic snap closure on the back. Nice light interior, so you can see all of your goodies in it. Open that flap up, and you have this pocket. Then you have the top zipper pocket, which is your main compartment. And inside it, you have a pen slot, credit card slots, and a zipper compartment. So very organizational, very lightweight, super fun bag. Got a pop of color for your outfit. Throw it in the washing machine if it needs to be, and you're good to go. So this is bag number one, and this is the Bagalini. Okay. Let's do a wallet. I found this very vintage, and I know it's vintage for sure because my mom had this exact same wallet back in the late 70s. It's hand tooled. Um, it does have initials, I believe that to be initial, in, initials on the back, but I love it so much I don't even care. Look at the pretty little hand tooling on it. 
lip whip stitching. Do you guys remember, did your mom or grandma or anybody have this exact wallet? Because I remember they were very, very popular back in the day with the way it opens up. You put your credit cards in here and there's a bill slot if that's what you want to use it for. And then it also has a couple more slip pockets here. It was funny though, my mom, she used to like pretend like this was a dollar bill. She would never stick it in a pocket. She would always just lay it like that and then they'd be ready to go. The thing you remember from when you were a kid, right? But it's so adorable. And then it's got the double kiss lock, double kiss lock, um, clear see-through compartment where you can put whatever you want. And then it snaps and it is leather, it snaps there and it snaps there okay so the tooled leather wallet then i have this betsy johnson this is vintage and this is for the girl who wants a serious itchy 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 these allergies you guys who wants a serious bit of bling pop to their outfit i had to get this you guys this is for my bling girls. Look at this blue metallic material with silver hardware. Can you guys see how awesome that is? Oh, I sneeze. <coughs> Sorry, sneezing. <coughs> the allergies are kicking in really, really bad today, you guys. Okay, so don't worry, not a, not a runny nose, just itchy. Um, but it's in excellent condition. It's got the silver chain. It has huge pyramid studs. It's got the coolest studded detail on it with this, um, the thread is just very shiny and it's a serious, serious cobalt blue tote. Then it has the zipper compartment. lightning bolt zipper pull and it's a black and white interior with slip pockets and a zipper pocket and this bag's in excellent condition it doesn't even look like, look like it's been used here's the top closure okay and that and it's super lightweight it says Betsyville right here Okay, then we're gonna do another wallet. I have this adorable pink Brighton wristlet wallet. I'm assuming this would be the front. Here's your little wristlet strap in a croc embossed. So that unzips to this area right here. Silver hardware. Then you have this little snap closure. There's a pocket right here open it up and you have tons of card like a lot of card slots and then this pocket over here as well and then this is a pocket and this seems to be in excellent condition as well super cute wallet love the pink color on it get you up close and personal really really pretty wristlet wallet Then I was excited to find this genuine leather Unisa bag, crossbody bag. It's got the little toggle and braided detail right here. You do not have to undo this to toggle it. You just unsnap it and it's also got a zipper top. The inside is nice. Here's the Unisa label. And this is a medium size crossbody bag. Here's the inside. And the little cutout detail around the whole leather area is really cute on the bottom. A really, really nice, smooth chocolate brown leather. Little X whip stitch right here. Nice crossbody strap. Also has Unisa embossed on the back. Here is the bottom. Super pretty bag. Okay, and then I picked up this Dooney and Burke. I'm gonna try to work a little magic on it. 
because this is a super cute wallet. I love the Vaquetta leather, but it does show signs of like this right here is nail polish. It's like a light pink nail polish. Um, there's a little mark right here and just some, some wear like, um, I don't know how to explain it. Just here, you guys can see like the little marks and stuff, which doesn't bother me at all. The back looks pretty good. The inside looks good. I love the way this compartment is with the ID window. Okay. Um, zipper works great. Put your coin in there. Oops. So that's the Dooney and Burke. And I don't know how I'm gonna get the leather restored, but I'm gonna try to see what happens. If you want it like this, let me know. I still wanna try to get the nail polish off though. Oh, that just scrapes right off. Yeah, the nail polish just is scraping right off. And then like, I wonder if this could buff in. I don't know, get the color, the color change to kind of all buff in together or something. I'm not sure, but for a Dooney and Burke, I think it's really, really cute. And then that today, you guys, is my haul. So I'm gonna have everything listed below this video. And I, now I'm able to provide you a link to click on to pay through PayPal. So it's simple as that. All right, you guys, stay humble, stay kind, and I will see my lovelies, you guys, tomorrow. Have a really, really wonderful day, guys. Bye-bye.